So guys, this video is centered around Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, uh, episode 6, and about this specific character. As always guys, uh, I keep mentioning it uh, now even more that um, I stopped reading the manga around the Red Light District arc, uh, I want to say a few pages prior to this moment in episode 6 with this mysterious uh, Demon Slayer. Um, this guy pops up. Uh, way back in season one, episode nine, uh, where we uh, fully get a chance to see moves on. He attacks the, the random people in the uh, the drunken people in the alleyway. And then, of course, he pretty much kills them. And then he, he has the memory of this person hovering over him. Um, and I sit back and I wonder, you know, that again, this is many, many episodes in a movie ago where this character pops up that um, is, a, is a haunt, you know, basically he's haunting um, Muzon's memories. Um, I want to say a demon slayer that pretty much defeated him in a way to have him just run off in hiding, basically. That's what I want to say. Uh, but we know, that, you know, we know now that, because um, I don't believe, I can't remember this happening it with any other demons, right? But specifically with Daki, uh, she... You know, because the you know because Muzan's blood is flowing through a lot of the demons. I want to say that this still occurs, but we get it here in episode six that because Muzan's blood is flowing through Daki's body, that she's retaining, you know, she's retaining some specific key memories. Now, originally, when I first was watching the episode from a couple of days ago, that I was thinking that when she mentioned Muzan, that um, that she, uh, you know, that she was basically talking about like like this person was moves on but that's not the case um and and she was just saying like these are just memories uh, from muzon's past that are running through his blood that is basically connected to her connected to Daki. um and so i'm just really curious wondering who this person is um that has a huge uh you know has like just a huge effect on muzon um again to the point that literally you know Daki is is seeing these memories because of what Tanjiro is saying you know basically saying like these lives are lost they can't get them back you know you see regular regular normal human beings can't do what demons do you know what you know what do you gain by killing these people and basically these memories pop up you know almost almost word for word you know sort of but but again this guy is basically saying you know to move on you know what what do you get um, out of this you know what do you get exactly from doing stuff like this um, so I am very curious about who this person is no spoilers as always guys I'm, I want to find this information out uh, either through the manga or through the anime whichever comes first because um, again uh, it's it's definitely making me want to pick up the chapters but again at the same time I'm just like I still for me I still truly do enjoy being um, totally shocked and awed and not knowing um, what's coming down the pipe when it's pertaining to an anime uh, even if the manga is just so great just so perfect and then they turn it into an, into into anime form which for the most part as we know demon slayer is heavily following the source material um for the you know f between the anime and the manga so it's just like you know i want to read the the manga a little bit but i want to watch the anime way more you know to find out this information uh firsthand um, and walk into these episodes blind. Um, but, you know, I probably will end up reading the manga eventually again um, at some point. But I definitely know that in chapter 81, because I had to get some clarification, you know, basically Daki did say in chapter 81 that, you know, these are memories from Muzan's past that she's that through his blood that is connecting um, these, you know, what, what Tanjiro is saying and what she's remembering from Muzan's past. From, from his encounter with this specific person. So, very interesting stuff, guys. Really, again, this episode is just so freaking dope. I've watched it a couple times already. Like, guys, like, this is why Demon Slayer is my favorite anime of 2019. And why anime is just, like, literally one of my, my like, my second favorite top fictional world besides Star Wars. Like, Star Wars is my number one anime is right after it. So, but... With that, guys, leave some comments in the comment section below without spoiling anything. Let me know your thoughts. What did you all think of this moment in time in episode six 
what were your thoughts when you when you sat down and watched episode six from season two this past Sunday? Let's talk about some things. But other than that, I will hopefully talk to you all next time with more Demon Slayer Kamesuno Yaba videos. Peace, guys.